so like one of my favorite things to do like in college was to dance in my bedroom to tool. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. it, it, it was a progressive right. a rock band that was big for a while. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's giving my age away, but <laughs> <laughs> so. But, um, so but now now these guys jam in re in rehearsal and um, I'll just bust a move. I'll bust the move! In, in rehearsal, <laughs> like when I'm not playing keyboards, yeah. I'll practice dancing with mm. some of my like ballet training, but also a lot of, I don't know, how would you describe it? Like kind of... Uh, hybrid. Uh, hybrid. Like, That's yeah, the one. Hybrid, like ritual. Ceremonial. Ceremonial. Wow. Like crazy. Evolution. It's the like, new, it's the next level. Yeah. <laughs> it's the next, next level. level. Exactly. It's, like it's the level. next it's the next level. So you doing this merging and, and evolution mm -hmm. of bringing because you know that's where the best stuff comes from. Where you're bringing from something you know, this ballet, then the classical, now you're pulling it into rock, then you got a little bit of death metal in it. Right. So so what are you uh, you having this experience with Swaybone? Mm -hmm. What is it that you're learning? As you're growing with oh them. Oh my gosh, I'm learning so much. It's completely humble. Give me like the top three things that you're like, wow, this is, I got to learn. Um, rock and roll musicians are incredible. Mm -hmm. And I, I already respected them, but now I have such a deeper level of respect because mm -hmm. it's freaking hard. <laughs> what, what do you mean really by hard? hard. Um, to have such tenacity to practice your instrument mm. all the time. It's a physical and mental, like, Devotion. Devotional practice. Devotional practice. Mm, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and, all and you do this all the time. Yeah, of course. All yeah. This is, yeah. So, so this is what you're going through with Swaybo? This is what I'm going through. We yeah. play three <laughs> times a week together, which for anybody who doesn't play in a band, it's a lot of music. Yeah. And uh, wow. I, I just want to give a shout out to my bandmates because I'm the yeah. amateur musician here. And I just want to give out a shout out to Ron. And I'm learning so much from you guys. I'm completely honored to be in the same room with you. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so, and, and that's I, I like the elements you're bringing into here. It, um, it's all, all together, you know. And I can only imagine what more you could come out with. Yeah. That's the next step. Well, yeah. that that's I think uh, increasing the theatrical component of live rock. Music. Yes. I yeah. want to talk a little bit yeah. about our, the show itself too. Yes. Um, because it's not only Swaybone, but we're also having a band come up from LA. Mm -hmm. Thy Squid from um, LA. Thy squid. And Thy squid. We're also mm. incorporating um, one of my favorite things to do is to design events that take the viewer, the audience on a kind of journey. Mm. I've been producing events for like 10 years now in wow. Oakland. Um, but um, so, and we're also involving um, a pretty amazing choreographer, local choreographer, Lee Pasmino, uh -huh. who comes from a hip hop. Uh, background. Uh -huh. He actually toured with Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson. Nice. Like, around the world. That's he's, nice. He's a fierce choreographer. I've been working with him for the last two years. Um, he's bringing his company. Uh, just well, actually, just a duet. Um, wow. A duet called Nightcrawler. Mm -hmm. um, and so we so we're gonna um, showcase that, mm -hmm. and that should be pretty hot. Wow. And let's paint the picture a little bit more. Uh -huh. We want to design the show with more details. So, for what example. When a band changes over at a club, yeah. uh -huh. sometimes it's like one band stops playing, mm -hmm. and then you have to watch them ch take their equipment off the yeah, stage, and yeah. then the next band puts their equipment together yeah. piece by piece, and you're sitting there watching this, and you're trying to like stay in the zone of the... the kills screen. the mood. It yeah. kills the mood. So what we're doing is we're putting a white screen in front of the stage in between bands, mm. and then we have a projector, and we're putting art, and we have music playing, so that the audience has something to keep it's the mood. Going. Keeps it going and it yeah. like holds in the juices of the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if yeah, of course, I, that's a great idea. That, that's that's awesome because then you don't have anybody getting bored halfway through. Like they can still be like dancing or still be entertained yeah. while we they're hope, changing. We hope to keep you compelled and interested. Okay. Like once you're drawn yeah. into the show, into yeah. the club, it's like it's all staged and scripted out mm -hmm. until we're done. And even maybe the other bands that are playing with we've chosen, and yeah. everything is like almost one big long show. Yeah, we'll get there. But in the <laughs> meantime, what we're doing is using the dance. Yeah, the screen in front of the stage yeah. in between bands. Yes, the digital art projections and and pre-recorded music to keep things juicy in between bands. Yes, and then the dancing starts. So nice. right before Swaybum comes on proper, the band is behind the white screen, and you can't see the band. Mm -hmm. 
but maybe you see Isabel in front with the dancers. I don't know. Maybe you're back with the keyboards, jamming. We with us. have actually. Let's let's keep that mysterious. So that's mysterious. Yeah. Where Isabel's going to pop let's up? Let's see. You better come to the show and find she out. She might pop yourself. out of a, po a party cake. I don't know what it is. <laughs> About that. <laughs> uh, but most definitely, we'll definitely look out for that as well. And uh, just come into the show, which is going to be, uh, you said, November 9th? November 9th, 9 Friday, 9 p.m. at the Stork Club, 2330 Telegraph yes. Avenue. Only $8, folks. $8? $8, 21 Ooh. and over. You can go to Brown Paper Tickets and search Swaybone. Yeah, get your tickets at Brown Paper Tickets or mm -hmm. Swaybone.net. Most definitely. So we could get that for the November night show, and um, that's what we can expect. So I uh, do want to give all your secrets out for what you're going to do as well. You want them to right. come to the show. So uh, I could. I like what you said about uh, the, the white screen actually transitioning bands transitioning. because that, that keeps the, the, the juices, like you said, flowing and everybody in the mood. Uh, I would definitely want to check that out as well for anybody that's into, uh, what you said, rock. and well, There's different styles here, actually. I mean, you know what I mean? I don't think yeah. it's just rock. I it's think really it's really diverse. It's it diverse. So, you know, you got a little bit of everything. You said yeah. classical all the way to death metal to uh, rock. So I think this is awesome. The hip-hop influences with the dancing. Hip-hop. That's, that's, that's awesome. Even that's, some reggae, some punk rock. There's some reggae, some punk, wow. some pop punk. That's awesome. Um, and it seems to work together. I mean, I didn't know if it was going to work before Peter and Ron joined mm -hmm. the band. And I felt like the album was a little bit diverse. Yes. And, and how's it going to really work, you know? I think it's awesome, though. But I, I think really based on rehearsals... It's working. It's, okay. it's like the energy stays high, and I, I feel relaxed, and, and the band is, is so good, and the drumming is so amazingly tight and, and high energy. That's yes. And, <laughs> and He's like, that's me, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That, that, I mean, the rock and roll is really based on the drummer, I yeah. think. Or if you don't have a yeah, great the drummer, you drum can't be heart. a great band. Mm -hmm. As I'm saying, you're the heart. You know what I mean? you got to keep that heart beating. Yeah. So... And then they follow you, you know what I mean? So the, the singer follows yes. the drummer, and then yeah. everybody follows the singer. So that, it's like, yeah. <laughs> that's, but, but that's, we work with each other, though. Well, that's a band. I mean, yeah. it's, there's a magic that happens in rehearsal or at shows or just hanging out where it's like the, the unit is greater than the sum of the parts. Of course. You know? that's, the, that's the beauty of a band. Because you guys can feed off each other, and when somebody messes up, you're covering somebody <laughs> up, and you're helping each other out. And that's great because, you know, that um, I, I think unity is better because you can make more things stand out like that. So um, good good luck to your guys' show. I definitely want to check that out as well. Uh, um, you said November 9th. Uh, yeah, I think we have a free ticket for... A free ticket! For Mr. Next Level. Oh, it's on, oh, man. I'm going to be up in there with my mask just dancing to your songs and stuff. So, this yeah, is it's number good. 52. Number 52! <laughs> yes, most definitely. Sway Bone Live at the Stork Club, Friday, November 9th, 2012, 9 p.m. 2330 Telegraph Avenue. I'm sorry, it's a plus Oakland, one. Cal. It's 53 too. Yeah. 53 with number so. two with, with Die Squid from LA. Yeah. Swaybone.net.